What up, world? Welcome back to Carter's Way. And uh, I just wanted to say, there's a reason for everything. There's nothing that happens that doesn't have a reason behind it. There's a reason why it rains. There's a reason why the sun comes out. There's a reason why we go through pain. There's a reason why we suffer. There's a reason why we love. There's a reason why we have anger. There's a reason why we have depression. There's a reason that things didn't go right. There's a reason that people left you in your life. There's a reason why things change. There's a reason for everything. And it's up to you to get to the bottom of it and find out what that reason is. Everything happens for a reason. I know you know somebody, and I we all know somebody, who's just miserable every day. There's always that one person at the job or your next door neighbor or somebody that's always miserable. And let me tell you, it's not for no reason. There's a reason for it. So the next time you always just say to somebody like, oh, she's just miserable, I don't wanna mess with her, ain't nobody wanna mess with her. Maybe that's why she is the way she is or he is the way he is. Maybe the next time you see somebody miserable, know it's for a reason and talk to them and say, what's the reason behind it? They might have lost somebody and never been the same. That's the reason. And you could talk to them and make them feel better about it so they don't have to live miserable every day. Let's talk about us. I was depressed because there was reasons for me being depressed. And I didn't know what the reason was. I thought I was just a depressed person. Another example. Some people are angry. And people might tell you, I'm just an angry person. No, you're not just an angry person. You're not just a depressed person. There's a reason behind why you're angry and depressed. And you need to figure out that reason why. And when you figure out the reason why, you need to fix that reason. Get to the root of your problem. And the root is the reason. You gotta figure out the reason. The reason why you act the way you act. The reason why you're angry. The reason why you're depressed. The reason why you have bad habits. What's the reason? And when you figure out the reason that's making you like that, you need to cut it out. Fix the reason. Positive reasons. I go to the gym for a reason. And I didn't start working out to get big. It was never in my mind that I wanted to get big. That wasn't my goal. I started working out so I don't do drugs again. I started working out so I could stop drinking. I could start focusing. That, that was my reason behind working out. So every time I don't want to work out, I always remember my reason of why I do work out. And it makes me get up. I, you don't want to be like that person that you used to be? Then I need to get up and start and go and go work out. I might not feel like it, but I got to go do it. You might have a reason like, you know, I changed my life and the reason is because of my kids. Ever since I had my kids, I don't have kids, I'm saying for all people, you know, I know a lot of people who do that. The reason why I stopped being uh, a bad person or whatever is because of my kids. I know a lot of people that say that. The reason why I don't try to get over on people is because it never works out for me. The reason why I don't take shortcuts in life is because it backfires on me. So every time I go to think about doing something wrong, I remember the reason that I don't do that. And you have to have your reasons. Figure out what your reason is. You think that we're just walking around this earth 
with no purpose, with no for no reason? You think we all have to die because just no reason? No, there's a reason. People left your life. It might be because of your own reasons that 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 you created. Somebody might have left you for the reason that you were mean. And that's not always the case. You might think things happen for no reason because let's say somebody left you in your life and you treated them good and they just left you. Guess what? God has his own reasons of why he makes things happen. It might not be your fault for certain things. It might not be your fault. It might not be a reason that you made. It might be a reason that God has. There is a reason for everything. You need to stick and think about the reasoning that you do. And don't reason with anything that doesn't reason with you and with you and your morals. Because as soon as you go to do something wrong and you forget the reason why you don't do wrong things in the first place, then you continue to do things wrong because you forgot the reason why you stopped doing it in the first place. I had to put habits down because I wanted to be a better person. That's the reason why I put things down. And once I forget that I want to be a better person, then I'm, it might entice me to start picking things back up that I don't want to pick up. But I got to remember the reason why I put those things down. There's a reason why I go hard every day. There's a reason why I make videos. There's a reasoning behind everything. Don't ever think that you just have bad luck and there's no reason for how you've been treated. There's no reason for, for you to be depressed, but there is a reason and you need to figure out that reason. And like I said, sometimes there's no reason. Actually, I'm sorry. Sometimes you feel like there's no reason, but then God steps in. And it might not be your fault. But if God feels like you need something better, that, that you could be a better person, he will start putting obstacles in front of you to make you feel like you have bad luck, but you don't. He's actually making you a better man, building you up. Because you know what happens? When, when, I, when I was down on my knees and I was praying to God, things started getting better from there. But I had to fall first to get back up. But when I was falling, I felt like I was falling for no reason. But there was a reason. I had to fall to get back up. And that was the reason. So never think that there's no reason. The things that you're going through is happening for a reason. Most likely for your benefit. Get through whatever you have to get through. Get to the bottom of things. Figure out the reason why you're doing the things you do. And fix the reasons. Alright? And that's my lesson for today. I just wanted to say, oh uh, man, rest in peace to DMX, bro. That that dude really had a huge impact on my life. You know, I felt like I was going through the same things he was going through. And, you know, there was a reason for him to to be who he was and, and spit how he spit and be real as, as, as real as he was. And there was a reason for that. And it helped people like me. I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. Used to, high, used to get high just to get by. Ate some, couple of 40s made me hate something. Now I'm ready to take something. Years later showing signs of stress. Didn't keep my head cut or give a fuck how I dressed. I'm possessed by the darker side, living the cruddy life. Come on, man. I just had to throw that in, man. Rest in peace, DMX, bro. That, he really... I remember, bro, when I was down and I was out. I was so depressed. I was so junked out. And I put on DMX and...
he made me feel like I really wasn't the only one in the world like going through this shit, man. And damn, it really hurts me in my heart to see that, you know, he's gone, but you know, major impact on my life. So I just wanted to throw that at the end of this video, man. Rest in peace, DMX. I know he's definitely, definitely next to God. That man was such a man of God. And sorry, my camera blew down, but uh, like I was saying, he was a man of God. And um, just the way he carried himself, he showed me that no matter how you are, that you could, that God loves you and that, you know, God is always with you. And that's another thing I related to him too, because I, I you know, now that I'm into God, I'm, I'm feeling him. I'm feeling the difference and everything, man. So much that, man, like impacting me, I gotta say. And uh, most of all, make sure you put God first, man. Put God first. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna make another video about that. But uh, that's all I got for today. Make sure you find out the reason.